Hello and thanks for tuning in again. Uh, today we have a new product. It is our Vivor rolling kitchen rack. So we're going to try this out. This is a uh, kitchen rack that holds 300 kilos or 661 pounds. Um, and it rolls around on silent wheels. So let's take a look and see how well uh, it uh, holds up to those claims. When we open the box here, we've got our rack shelves here. Looks like there's four wheels, a set of instructions. It all comes tightly bound together. So, fortunately I have my shears here. I can cut these straps on the sides and we'll take a closer look. Okay. It's a nice deep rack for, oops holding items. They're not going to roll out or fall off onto the floor. Supports. A rack and two additional shelves. So step one is to screw the casters, also known as wheels, into the poles. Two of these casters have uh, brakes on them, so you can use it as a rolling cart. You can also lock it in place. So the tops of them are capped off with um, plastic caps there, and you screw these right into the bottom. So we're going to do all four of these. Two more casters, or wheels. Simply screw these into place here. All right. All four of these are done. We're ready for step two. These clips, they tell you which side is the top. And again, you can put these right here on the bottom of the, um, they, they fit into the grooves and these snap together. And they snap right in place there. So you feel it is snug, not going to slide up or down. And you do the same for the other three poles. So again, this says top. So we want this facing the top away from the uh, wheel. And there's going to be a groove on the inside of here. This groove here is going to fit into one of these grooves. So on this one, we're just going to put the groove right here, right there. You hear it snap into place, and this one will snap in the other side. Click together. And again, it doesn't slide up and down. And we'll do the same for the last two. Now, this part gets a little tricky to do it with one person, but um, you can simply slide the basket onto these four. So we're going to do the basket because the basket goes on the bottom. I like to keep your brakes on the same side as each other. Unless the instructions say differently, but that's what Well, these are safety caps. They pop right off. Those are to keep it uh, from getting dinged up during transportation. So we'll slide these in here. We'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll slide the other ones in. And once these are on, it's going to be fairly stable. Much, much easier to put the other racks in place. All right, so those will be on there. I'm going to move this table out of the way from the middle. And we'll bring it right down onto those, um, onto the plastic clips that we put on. And hold everything in place. There we go. Apparently it's easier to do that last step if we turn it upside down first, but that's okay. We got it where it needs to be. Um, so we're going to do the plastic clips again and the two more shelves. So these shelves are adjustable. You can make them for your needs. So you're going to do it what's whatever's best for your kitchen. Um, so we're just going to start by uh, placing these shelves here. You see some of these um, notches have double grooves in them. That's going to allow you to get the same place on each side so you don't have to count um, from the bottom all the way up there. So I'm just going to do one below the double groove here. Second shelf. See double grooves here, about five more up. There's another one with double grooves. So you can choose whichever level you want. We're just going to put one right here to start out with. If we decide we're going to put a microwave on the bottom shelf for some reason, we can always raise that up and you know to accommodate the space that we need for it. So we'll snap one over here, snap that in place, and same thing here. Just 
one below this this one with the double grooves. So we'll go ahead and slide this one on here as well. And you want the basket side up on these. That's the the writing side, so you can actually read the uh, read the brand name on there. And you can just tap it down just to make sure it's nice and snug. And there you go. And uh, lastly, we do the same thing for the third shelf. We've got more clips here to put the handle on. You can choose which side you like. I'll put it on the side with the brakes because that way you don't have things sticking out of both sides. So you got the writing, you want the writing side up on here. See the Vivor brand there? That's gonna be on the top. Handle's gonna be pointing up a little bit. Again, you can put it wherever you like. I would like my handle nice and high. So we'll put it up here. Again, clip it in place, snap. And click. And click and snap. So I got to remove this one here because uh, otherwise it won't go down. So I just unsnap them. You just reach in and pry them apart. Sometimes they can be a little tight. This one came off nicely. You can you can uh, pry it off with a, a flathead uh, screwdriver or even a, a small coin if you need to. Okay. So we got our handle on here and we'll go ahead and replace these holders here onto the top. There it goes. Click. And snap. Snap. And in. We'll go ahead and replace that top shelf. Okay, the hooks go on to the side of the top wire shelf frame. So we have our hooks, we can put them right over here, wherever we like. There's one. Comes with six hooks. And there's an extra pair of snaps in here as well for your, your shelf. And that was very easy to assemble. It took us 10 minutes maybe to assemble. Nice rolling cart. You may get one that comes with a, uh, a shelf um, liner. Um, so just put the liners on after you put it together. The brakes here. Just, so just, just uh, step down on them to set your brakes, and now it doesn't roll at all. Pop the brakes off, just push that with your toe. Let me find it here, there we go. Or you could lift up this side too. It's hard to do with slippers on. <laughs> you can just lift it up here, snap, brakes come off, and it rolls around. So basically, uh, Got it all set up. Just remove the excess plastic off of the, um, off your wheels there, off the casters. And it's all set. You got a kitchen shelf ready to go. Holds 660 pounds, so about 100 kilos per shelf or 200 pounds on each shelf. So we've got a real nice rack here. Good looking, uh, easy to assemble and uh, very heavy duty. This is nice. These, these, everything on here is, uh, looks to be very well made. Um, and then uh, assembly is uh, literally a snap. It's not too heavy, it weighs about uh, 20, I think it weighs about 21 pounds, uh, 20 pounds, something like that. So uh, less than 10 kilos, and, uh, but uh, will hold a lot of weight for you. Again, Vivor rolling kitchen shelf. Enjoy it, use it in good health. And thanks again for watching.